Well, greetings and salutations. It's me, James, your BA Sensei. And today we're back with another Power Query tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at conditionally replacing values in a column in one step. Not two, not three, in one step. Let's go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to quickly show you my data set. Data set is very simple. Uh, we got some stock codes here. We have a column here indicating yes or no if we want to trade a specific stock. Currently, suspended is whether a stock is suspended. So I want to change the values of the trade column. I want to adjust that to know if a stock is suspended without adding another column. I want to do it all in this column based on the values of this column. So how do I do that? Let's quickly pull it into Power Query. All right, so you want to change the values in the trade column. We want to make this a no, conditionally a no, if it is suspended. So what we're going to do is right click on this. We're going to say, replace values and this little pop-up comes up I'm just gonna get it a arb value of replace all A's with Z's and this is gonna give us a, a sample of the functions needed to do replace values so I'm gonna get that so you can see what it does is it basically uses table dot replace value refers to the table and says everything that's a um, find A's in this column and replace it with Z's and then it ends with replace or replace text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this specific text. We're just going to uh, indent all of that. All right. First thing, the A's. We're going to say for each, let's call it trade. Start with that. What's going to happen now is if I press enter, it's going to replace all of that with a Z. That's fair enough. Next thing I'm going to do is I want to replace it with something. So now I'm going to put the condition here. I'm going to say each. Yes, I'm going to refer to the suspended column. I'm going to say each if suspended, which is a completely different column, is equal to yes. Then make trade. No, I can't trade on the suspended um, stock else simply return trade that should do it and now there you go all in one step what we did is we updated the trade column based on the value of a suspended column there was already values in the trade before isn't that cool so we did that change in one easy step so yeah this was a very short video but I hope this helped you it surely did help me resolving some issues until we meet again, be a sensei.